The surging population and lack of civil planning caused the settlement many problems. Farmers clear-cut jungle to use the fertile riverbanks for their crops, resulting in a devastating flood in the first heavy rains. Overhunting forced hunters to travel ever further to find game. Several groups, each vying for a controlling interest in the settlement, debated often fiercely on the best manner of solving these problems. This is a formidable weapon. Heavy wood lined with sharp obsidian teeth. It could easily stop an unarmored enemy. Right. I don't think anything could have prepared me for this place. The people, their history, everything they've lived and who they are today. To hear him tell it, Amaru, Dominguez, Kugel Khan only wants to keep Paititi safe. But I've seen the lengths he'll go to, the murder and cruelty. I have to stop him. there. Having not heard from Lopez, some among the leadership began to have their doubts about him. Our group dispatched south to investigate. We sent the natives in first, uncertain those in the city had not killed Lopez on his arrival. They returned with reports of how sick the city was, and we quickly formed a plan to utilize this to our advantage.
Okay, take it slow. I have no choice. There's a way in somewhere. A serpent with a silver eye. I'm on track. Yes, are you there? The smell keeps getting stronger. Tamara, how's it going? I found another serpent with a silver eye. I must be getting close. You? Talking tattoos with Uchu. Tattoos? Yeah, you saw Unuratu's, right? It has a heron and an eclipse on it. That might have something to do with the silver box. I don't think so. Unuratu is the rightful queen of Paititi. After a famine that nearly wiped out the city, her family was ousted from power by the cult of Kukulkan. Her husband, Sairi, died hunting for food on the outskirts of Paititi. Amaru, or Dr. Dominguez, Sairi's brother, felt responsible and took control of the city, using resources from Trinity to feed the Paititians until the famine passed. Even though Amaru saved the city, the cult, in his absence, now rules with arrogance and fear. Unuratu and her rebels are fighting to free the city from the cult of Kukulkan and restore its ancient bloodline. Unuratu was raised to believe it was her family's legacy, to complete the ritual of the Silver Box of Ishel and restore the sun for another age. <laughs>
have to burn that barrier. be a way to burn away that barrier. <laughs> Too wet. It'll need an accelerant to burn. They use these urns to soak the viscera in oil. Gotta be a way to burn away that barrier. be a way to burn away that barrier. Full of oil and blood. If the oil is flammable, Is this some kind of bloodletting chamber? A barrier. Must have taken hundreds of sacrifices to get enough blood to fill these channels. <sighs> Must be a way to turn the second wheel. <sighs> 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 
Must be a way to turn the second wheel. Too heavy, needs more talk. This must be what Trinity is missing.
There's the little rebel prince. Okay, I'll make my way back as soon as I can. I've never seen Uchu so angry. Uchu? Really? What happened? I shouldn't gossip, but he and Kabil were arguing. They kept their voices down, but you could see the anger rising off of each of them. Sorry, no one may enter. Unaratu must be worried about Etsley. I have to tell her he's been captured.
Will you trade? Please. I have barely made enough to offer in tribute. Tribute to who? The cult of Kukulkan, of course. They demand half of all profits earned on market day. But if they think I tried to short them... I understand. Thank you, Ishiki. Will you trade then? You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent Thank you, friend. Unaratu must be worried about Etsley. I have to tell her he's been captured. Careful, friend of Unuratu. The jack. The new methods of agriculture introduced by the cult of Kukulkan have only succeeded in destroying more crops. First, the bee colonies collapsed. Then the cocoa crop failed. The earth is too damaged for anything but corn to grow, and the stalks are flimsy. We must take action. <laughs> This is a traditional foot plow, still used in the Andes today. We're working on a plan to release him. I tried to get him, I'm sorry. He's a warrior. What's that? This is a key. It looks like... It looks like it belonged to the mountain temple. It is adjacent to where they're holding him. Is the box of each shell connected to the barracks? Is that why the cold occupy the temple? It's heavily guarded. When we go in, it has to be subtle, silent. Is there a back way? Th there was one by the salt mine, but it has deteriorated. It's treacherous. I might be able to manage it. Perhaps. You did survive the sacrificial pit. I haven't been back inside since I was a child. But from what I can remember, the barracks are within an inner stronghold. If I can get in through the back way, I can clear a path and let you in. We will free Epsley, then go find the box. I'll take care of my son. You go after the box. Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Edsley's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. Oh, that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Edsley's father, Sairi, died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father onto me. 
One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony. But... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the Champion's bow, and the King's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future King. Tell me what you need, and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the King's horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges. What are we doing here? Twenty ninth of November, sixteen oh three. After dinner, Lopez left the city. I followed, worried he might not return. I found him standing by the riverbank, lips moving as though in prayer. Not wishing to disturb him, I waited. His communion with God must have lasted through the night, and I regret to admit I fell asleep, for the next thing I knew, Lopez stood smiling serenely over me, the morning sun behind him, creating a halo. He helped me to my feet and clasped me in a strong embrace. Truilos, I know where to find the artifact, he whispered in my ear. Space for that. Father, father, come quick. It's the Ishiki. What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's... The king's horn? The call to the future? <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go. The cult found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. The 
brother Quali went to the market to get herbs, but he hasn't returned. That's terrible. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. That poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. Hello there. The Ishiki. Wonderful. More attention we don't need. What do you want? I'm trying to help Kuali. The thief. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death for stealing. Seems harsh for petty theft. You can judge when he steals from you, outsider. Well, thank you for the information. Whatever. Come on, get it. Hello there. Hey, you're Ishiki. From the outside, right? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Well, it's me. I'm Yamil. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his ceremonial knife to show my friends, and Shimali the guard saw. Shimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh, let me see what I can do. Wow, really? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away. But you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. So what do you want, Ishiki? I mean, is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death. We can't do anything. And Chimali the guard hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Remy, with me. Samin, watch our backs. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Chimali, you coward! You'll end your life as a slave! Come mm. taste my blade! <laughs> yeah, and taste llama patties, too! Run, run! Please, they were just herbs. I beg you, a word. Your brother told me of your troubles. Wait, who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go, your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. Ich 
Do you know what's missing in this city? Love. It used to drift on the air, like the scent of hibiscus. That scent went away when Unuratu's husband, Sairi, died. Theirs was an infectious love. Everywhere they went, they were locked in hand. They would shop the markets together on sunny days like today, and I could swear the stalls would brighten just a bit as they passed. <laughs> I thought I told you to go. Kuali is safe, and I have the herbs your wife needs. Really? And did you come to cure her, or to barter for the king's horn? Here. This will help you. Bless you, Shiki. Kabir, quit being an ass. Give her the horn. <sighs> Here. With respect to the future king, thank you for all you've done. Thank you. Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The King's Horn, as requested. Did Kabil give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quentin that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenty perfectly. I never should have sent Quenty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old sister. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenti can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it. What are we doing here? I never wanted this to happen, now Etsy's been captured. Yeah. Oh. 
home, in the well. Papa says it's because there are tunnels filled with water under some houses. Funny, huh? Uchu said the entrance to the cistern was a cave above the white tree. There's the entrance. During a fierce battle, a man of two bloods throws down his weapons and, speaking with passions, convinces the other warriors to do the same. They follow him from the battlefield into the city, where they behead several merchants whose initial bickering calls the war. The threat of the disease held at bay, we soon learned that Lopez had come and gone. Some of us began to suspect his betrayal, while others worried for his safety. The only course of action was to remain in the city, the reasoning twofold. We'd be ready when Lopez came to his senses and returned the artifact, or well, this would be the easiest point from which to mount a search for him. We struck an accord with the king. We would become his royal guard, physicians, and priests. One's been through here in centuries. This has to be the right place. The 
This could be an effigy of the peasant savior. It might have been stolen by the cult of Kukul Khan to keep the Paititians from worshipping it. Or maybe it was given to them as payment for protection. The remains of the peasant savior have been moved to an undisclosed location. We've had reports of the cult stealing objects and artifacts and holding them hostage in exchange for docility. We will not allow such a sacrilege to happen to Manco. <laughs> Manko's resting place. This looks suspicious. This looks like a procession of the dead. It's the order hiding Manko from the cult of Kukul Khan. This shows burial dolls, pottery, and textiles being placed in here with the dead. This wasn't just a hiding place. The order turned it into a crib. This lever should raise the water level. This lever should raise the water level. The order left members behind as sentinels when they sealed the system. 
All these bones, they sacrifice themselves to protect this place. Hello, Manko. Now, where's the amulet? Now, to get this back to Uchu. There's light coming through this wall. Another sealed off passageway, I bet. Pure silver. From what I understand, Manko was a simple farmer. This must... <sighs> Yeah. <sighs> 